Oh boy, this is a good one, Bob. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Good morning, everybody. It is time of the year to do some tulipy fishing. I'm gonna pick up the guy that introduced me to it, my Uncle Bob. Uh, grew up listening to stories about that, always wanted to try it. A few years ago, I finally did. I'm pretty much rigged up. Got my bag with my rods already rigged up. Uh, got two Markhams ready to go. My uncle has an older Vexlar and it doesn't quite go down to, we're gonna fish probably up to 100 feet today. Got two options, I'm gonna let, leave it up to him. We're either gonna do, uh, go for quantity where there's more, not quite the size, or bigger ones where there's not quite as many. I'm going to finish loading a couple things up, get my kid to school, pick up my Uncle Bob, and we'll see you on the ice. Got your tulipy rigs all set up? And watch. So you got your tulipy rigs all set up? Yeah. Oh yeah, got some spoons on there. Got your coffee. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready too. I don't think there's much tulipy fishing, is there? I mix it up, soft plastics too. We've got three holes here because we're gonna put sonar in the middle one and we're gonna jig two two of these setups a piece. If you're setting up here, I'll get to I'll get that sonar set up for you. My guess is we're gonna my guess is we're gonna be about 40 feet of water. Right, User scooper, one second. You got a lot of slush in the hole further down. Stir it up. I have never turned this unit on, so hopefully it works. Here it is, coming right up. We are in 48 feet of water. Let's see if that picks that up at all. It's pretty hard to see. Brand new unit. Uh, we fish these tulipies anywhere from 40 to 100 feet, and today we're in about 48. Hopefully we see something come through. Finish setting up here. I'm actually a little prepared today. I got everything rigged up last night. website quarter ounce flash champ spoon for attractant this one's just a glow UV pink and then the leader length I just have it varied this one's probably about 18 20 inches a small oh 130 second 160 ounce uh, tungsten jig this is glow white color and I, I use double waxies on this one I might switch to the other one's got it's got soft plastics because I got looked at the other one but this is the one that got hit and I put them in the middle, kind of like wacky rig style, so they flop. My fingers are cold, bear with me. There's 
one. And the waxes must be cold because they're shriveled. Not very good. Anyway, just put a couple of maggots on the end and that swings around under that spoon. Takedown? <laughs> I thought maybe you were Scott Mackner. I'm not, I know him. Yeah, no, you're the guy that was with your uh, on the internet. Uh, Jacob? Okay. Oh. Or, you mean channel wise? Yeah. Jacob Tooth Tackle? Yeah, that's the guy, yeah. Yeah, I've been watching that. There's right. one down there. You out, you're getting a few tulipies? Huh? You out for a few tulipies? Yeah. We're marking them, they just, uh, they're real finicky. Them ones, if they come in two at a time, it's them little bitty ones. I could get them to bite, couldn't get them to bite, but they're like that. Or I just caught one, it's just even smaller than that. But those, earlier, are de those are decent size ones, though. Huh? They're decent size. Oh, yeah, they're nothing wrong with that. They get big, though. God, yeah. I had one. I had one on this morning that, God, I've never had one on that big. I think that would have that would rivaled Mr. Scott's uh, five pounder easily. I couldn't bring him off the bottom. Shit, I had him on three, four minutes. I got a four and a half pounder last year. Yeah, I got one four eight last year, right here, actually. Four pounds. This is about where we were last year, Bob. I think we pulled about four or three that day. That were four pounds. Yeah, they're nice. You can get them. I know Scott fished here quite a little last year. Can't cut that wind down a little bit, could you? God, isn't that sick? Yeah. We got out here beautiful and drilled in. Wind yes. Yeah. It was, it was all of a sudden, boom! There she comes. Yeah, I mean we're marking them. It's just. Uh, I'll just tell you, the ones that I caught were all within 10 feet of the bottom. Every one of them. There was nothing up high today at all. I, we're, oh. we're down about 30, 35 or so. Yeah, we're okay. in 50 feet of water. Yeah, 45 here, 50. Yeah, yeah, we got 50, and yeah. we're marking them at mostly 30, but the one I caught was just a little bit deeper. Okay. So over there, I was in 45, and it's, uh, they were all right on the bottom. Usually, they're, you know, you know, off 15 feet off the bottom or so, or 20, you know, halfway down. Yeah, I got to kick up in sucker nose stuff. God dang it. I know it. Really, that beaver trapping, I was watching that. Well, this winter has been so damn long and drawn out. I've been uh, watching some of that stuff. Jeez, it's hard work. See the one with the beaver tail left? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah, he is a nice guy. Yeah. He was, uh, yeah. He's the one that walked out when we were out here, Bob, last year. Yeah, he always, he, he got, he walked to beat hell. He's not afraid of that. No, he's not afraid of putting the hours in. No. I know. He was out here just, well, I missed him that day when he was here, but I had a buddy that was out, and he was fishing right over here, I think, on the other side. I saw you got a bucket. Let's look at your bucket here real quick. Oh, okay. Uh, you got a better bucket full than we do. Just sitting out here with my uncle, and he, Dave here showed up and thought I was Scott at first. Yeah, it's kind of in the same spot where Scott fishes all the time, so. Yeah, this is definitely one of his spots. We were going to try uh, the other lake for more than bigger, but uh, the access wasn't so great. The wind finally died down. I hope it stays down, because it was nasty about an hour ago. Oh yeah, when it came up, she really came, so. Yeah, she did. Well, it was nice talking to you. Yeah, guys. you too. Maybe we'll see you again on the ice this all spring right, yet. Yeah. Chasing her. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah, I got a couple different smokers. I got a... Big old wooden smoker I use, and then a propane one. But, uh. Yeah, I got a big green egg, and I got a gas one too. Okay. So full yeah. of each, depending on how the weather or what I feel like doing. Yeah. So. Sure. Cool. All right. We'll see you guys. Good luck. What was your first name again? Jacob. Jacob. Yep. Good to meet you, man. Dave Hawes. Nice. To meet you. Yeah. If you see me on the ice anytime. All right. I got a whole school of them. I don't know what to do. now how is that possible they come in that high and then nothing one low oh coming up I got them all over 
again. I got a bunch real low now too coming in. is a big one. He's got me pinned down hard. Need help? Oh, he's heavy. Need help? I don't think so. I wouldn't be any help anyway. I'd just get the back. They're still down there though. This is a big one. Boy, it feels like I'm, I mean, it feels like there's weight. I got a good one here. I haven't seen him yet though. He hit that wax worm. There's my leader. I still haven't seen him. Oh yeah. Oh, he's, he's a giant. Can't get his head up. There we go. Oh, look at this sucker. Look at that one. Look at that fish. That is an absolute perfect hook set too. Oh my gosh, this guy's full of stink. That's master angler right there, without a doubt. We will measure him later. Oh boy. Look at that. Oh, he's right there on my bait. Take it. Got him. I started. 
Oh, is that? No, this is, this is a different one. Let's have another camera angle here. I have yet to move this guy really much of anything. This is on my Archangel rod. He's just digging. He's at... I picked him up at 35 feet and he's at 32. Just, you can just see those shakes just staying down. I got light action rod here with a seven pound fluorocarbon. My leader's like an eight pound mono. And the only thing I can do is keep them tensioned up. And when he gives me an inch, I'll take it. Yeah, take and drag. <laughs> he is back at 30 feet. There he comes. Give me an inch, take it. Get my phone off. Spam callers. There we go. There we go. He is... God, he's still down in that range. No, he's... I must... He's a big one, Bob. I'm not kidding. He's big. I just gotta get him pointed up. I see him. There's my leader. He is big. I got my other line tangled. That's part of it. Look at this sucker. Look at that sucker. Perfect hook set right in the lip. Look at this sucker right here. Look at this guy. Look at the size of this one. I'll come a little closer. That is a big tulipy right there. That is massive. Come over to the GoPro and do the same thing. Look at the size of this one. There's my three tulipy. That one's probably 14, 15. That one's 18, about two and a half pounds. And that's a giant, 20 and a quarter, 4.15 pounds. It's just a gorgeous day to get out and uh, fish. I haven't really done much this winter like I wanted to. If you guys have any comments on how you can entice those finicky tulipies to bite, let's see if I get out of the wind. It's terrible. Uh, comment below how you guys get the trick them. We had a lot of finicky bites. Bob missed a few. I went three for three, got lucky. Like I said, we weren't going for numbers today. It was more like the big ones and I've, it paid off my last one at that four pounder. So, uh, just the start of the tulipy season. It's early. Wasn't sure how I was gonna go, but they're definitely around. Good luck, catch you guys soon. Thanks for watching.